Ernie. I'm sorry? The first name is Ernie. Spell me the first name. E-R-N-I-E. I'm sorry? E-R-N-I-E. And the last name, please? Keebler Alp. K-E-E-B-E-R. E L V E. K E E B E R E L V E. Yeah, Ernie Kurt Keebler Alf. All right. So, do you have an Amazon account, Mr. Ernie? Yes, I got an Amazon account. When was the last time did you uh, order any kind of stuff? Well, I ordered, gee, probably three weeks ago. I ordered a uh, shortstop. All right. So let me do one thing, Mr. I provide you any kind of information for the verification purpose. I want to verify your address. 100 Main Street, Moravia, New York, 13118. 13118, right? Yeah. It's, uh, can you verify me once more? 100 Main Street? Yep. Verify me once more, sir. Verify your what? 100 Main Street, Moravia, New York, 13118. All right. Okay. So, Mr. Okay. Here in my system, okay, yeah. there is one order has been placed yeah. under your name, which yeah. is an apple. A what? Apple. Uh, are you talking with me? I'm talking with someone else, sir. I'm talking to you. All right. Here in my system, there is one order has been placed under your name, okay. which is an apple MacBook Pro. Amount is $1,499, which is going to be delivered by today itself. So, are you calling to cancel this order? Well, I never ordered it. So, yeah, cancel it. You never ordered this stuff? No. In this case, Mr. Arnie, have you ever lost any of your personal information in the past? No, I lost my wallet once, but that was a long time ago. All right. And have you ever been to New Mexico? New Mexico, yeah, I used to work in New Mexico, yeah, I used to live down, I used to work down there in a cookie factory. I was, All right. I was in charge of the fudge. All right, that means, uh, yeah. let me tell you, uh, okay. someone is already using your name, uh -oh. your information, your address by opening a fake Amazon account under your name to oh. order this kind of, some kind of stuff so that you can pay the bills because this order which is Apple MacBook Pro, it is not going to be delivered to your address. Okay. It is going to be delivered to 12 Canyon Road, Santa Fe, New Mexico, 87221. Are you familiar with the address? No, I never lived in Santa Fe. I lived in, uh, uh, it was just outside of Tempe. All right. So are you familiar with the address or not? No, no, I lived in Tempe, New All right. Mexico. So for the confirmation, Mr. Ernie, do you want to cancel the order? Yeah, cancel it. Yeah, cancel it. Yeah. All right. Let me do one thing. I'm going to try to cancel your order. And once I'm able to cancel the order, I'm going to send you the cancellation ID number to the message, which will be very important for you. So the number which you're calling me is your cell phone number, right? Yeah. Yes. All right. And you said that you have already lost your information, right? Oh, that was years ago. It was at a gentleman's club. All right. I, I don't know if I, when, I... They might have stole... I don't think they stole it, but I think it fell out of my pocket when right. I was uh, getting a private All right, so, dance. All right. So, Mr. Ernie, uh, I'm so sorry to let you know, but okay. right now I tried to cancel your order from my side, but here in my system... It shows an error because uh -oh. this order was placed by last week, and right now the order is already on the way, and it is going to be delivered by today itself. And the most so when important it gets thing is when it gets the most I, important I thing is the order back. which has been made a is a pre-authorized order. Okay. It's a what? Pre-authorized. It's a it's a pre-authorized order. That's the reason once the order has well, been delivered the address, the amount fourteen hundred and ninety-nine uh, dollars is going to be no. directly deducted from your site. No. The reason we are unable to cancel your order on immediate basis from our site, okay? Well, okay. What are we going to do? So, so someone is already hacking your information, and he or she might be your close one. It might be your friends, family, relatives, colleagues, neighbors. Okay? I bet you I know who it is. All right. So let 
video launching. It's a pre-authorized order. So right now, only your bank people has got an authorized to cancel okay. this order on immediate basis. Okay, I call, so, I call my bank, right? So, I call my bank. First, let us, I call let my listen bank. to me, sir. So, in order to bank. cancel... In uh, what? Hmm? Mr. Arnold, can you yeah. hear me? Yeah, I'm going to call my bank, you said. First, listen, listen to me, sir. Okay. In order to cancel this yeah. product, I have to make a statement on behalf of you that Mr. Ernie didn't order any kind of stuff, no. which is an Apple MacBook Pro. Amount is fourteen hundred and ninety nine dollar, and he wanna cancel this order on immediate basis. And from our side, we are gonna send a cancellation paperwork to the bank people. And once the bank people receive the email from us, then only they can cancel your order. Without a verification from Amazon, they won't be able to cancel your order. Okay. So what I gotta do? So, Call my bank. So on the no, sir, let me do one thing. Okay. I have to make a statement, and I'm going to send the email to your bank people. And once I send the okay. email to the bank people, I'm going to transfer your call to the helpline of the bank. Okay. So you tell them that you want to cancel this order oh. on a immediate basis because okay. you can order any kind of stuff. Okay? okay, okay. So in order to send the email and transfer your call, can you tell me which bank do you deal with? Only the name of the bank, sir. City Bank. City Bank? Yeah. And do you deal only with the one bank, which is the city bank? Yeah, that's the only one I deal with, Teddy. <laughs> All right, so right now, Mr. Ernest, I'm going to send the email to your helpline of the city bank. So once I send the email, I'm going to transfer your call to the helpline of the city bank. So once I transfer your call, it will be a bank secured line. So my call will be ended. So you have to tell the bank people that you didn't order any kind of stuff. Okay, so you want to cancel yeah. this? Uh, you want to yeah. cancel this order yeah. on immediate basis okay. before it delivered to the address, yeah, okay? I don't wanna, yeah, I'm not paying for it, no matter what. Uh, you, don't have to, you don't have to worry, sir. You don't, you're not going to pay. So, Mr. Arnie, it was nice talking with okay, you, see online. Let me transfer your call to the helpline of the city okay. bank, okay, sir? Sure. All right. Thanks for your patience. This is Jeremy Roy from Citibank Customer Care Service. How can I help you today? I don't know. Amazon connected me to you. Because somebody ordered something, an iPad, I something, and uh, he transferred to me my to my titty bank because they said you could help me. Okay, sir, I just um, got the email oh, okay. uh, from the Amazon, and I feel I can see this that there is an order which was been placed for Apple MacBook, and you're claiming this that you have never placed such order, correct? So cancel it. Yeah, cancel that order for me. Okay. Uh, sir, say, first of all, before we go to your account, we need to do the verification. So, first of all, I need to verify the last four digits of your social and your date of birth. 1463 is my last four, and my birthday is 31650. 31650, correct? Yeah. Just give me a moment. Okay. All right. Uh, sir, this is a pre authorized order, and a pre authorized order that means. Once this product will be delivered in the location, then the funds, it's going to get debited from your account. Oh, no, I believe that you have never no, given I'm, any authorization, correct? No, I'm filing a grievance. I don't want to pay it. So you're, if you're my titty bank, just don't pay it. <laughs> so see, uh, because the system is not allowing me to go through your account. And the system is showing me that there is a uh, red flag in your account. A red flag in your account, that Who means... Who put the red flag somebody there? Somebody have already... Who put the red flag there? Uh, I'm so sorry, sir. Who put the red flag there? Uh, well, sir, see, there is something fraudulent activities is going on with your account. And there is something suspicious activities is going on. So that is only for a reason that there is a red flag in your account. Okay, well... And that means... Somebody have already got an access to your all the personal information. Okay. And whoever is using your information, they have just not your account details, but they have got all your personal information. And right. sir, we need to stop this as early as possible. Uh, yes, yeah, stop it. Stop it. Just put a have stop got, on it. Just put a stop on it. Uh, sir, but we cannot stop that because we need to update this to the FTC, to the Federal Trade Commission. Federal and we have Commission. to let them know. Just cancel. Oh, sorry, sir. Just cancel. I don't need the Federal Trade Commission. Uh, but, sir, see, we need to uh, let them know about this so that in future, if anyone is trying to do a fraud with your information, then you'll not be the responsible person, all right? I'm not going to be. 
No, nah, I just file a thing with uh, with uh, my visa through the titty bank, and that'll take care of it. I'm not paying for it. So, so see, uh, let me explain you, okay? You're just thinking about the bank, okay? But the thing is that the people, whoever is using your information, they have got all your personal information. All your personal information, like your social security number and all your other identity. Okay. So we need to make sure this that no one can get an access to any of your personal information. And they have got your social security number as well. So that's the reason we need to stop them to do any kind of a fraudulent activities, all right? Well, how are we going to do that? To stop them? Uh, sir, as I explained you this, that we need to update this to the FTC, to the Federal Trade Commission. But before we update them about the situation, we also need to make sure about this, that your money should not get debited from your account, as we cannot go through your account. So to stop the transaction, first of all, we need to know this, that right now, what is the balance that you're holding in your account at this moment? Well, do you know? You're at my bank. Uh, sir, but see, you need to understand this, that I cannot go through your account because there is a red flag. And if we go through your account right now, then the people, whoever is trying to do a fraud, they will simply run away from the situation. So that is the only very reason that we need to verify the balance from your end where I can update this to the FTC. I hope you understand. Okay. Go ahead. So can you just help me the balance of your account, sir, right now, the approximately? What do you mean? Account? What account? I don't know what account you're talking about. I got three accounts. I got checking, savings, and my uh, visa. I don't know what what account you're talking about. Sir, both the savings and check-ins. Savings, I got 300 and something. And in the checking, I got 700 and something, I think. I don't know. This helps in the approximate balance, not the exact What's balance. What's up with you, vanilla face? Yeah, that's it. I think it was three, three hundred and something. Yeah. And in the savings, seven hundred dollars. Yeah, right? yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah. Okay. okay. Just give me a moment. Okay, uh, sir. Let me just do one thing for you. That let me just go ahead and update all this information to the okay. FTC, and in that yeah, meanwhile, let me just you go ahead and connect your call tell to the Federal Trade Commission. So okay. just turn on the line with me. Okay. Let me just go ahead and connect your call, sir. Thank okay. you so much. Okay. Just turn on the line with okay. me, sir. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Thank you so much for holding this line. This is Kristen Wilson with the Federal Trade Commission. How can I help you? I don't. I. I have no idea. I got a call from Amazon saying that somebody ordered something, uh, I booked something, and then they connected me to my bank, to Titty Bank, and then Titty Bank connected me to you. So I have no clue what I'm doing. Do you have any clue? Okay, before that, huh? I'm speaking with Ernie. Ernie Keebler out. You know, you find a piece of paper here. I, I'm all, I'm all tangled up. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, go ahead. It's Christine S. Wilson. That's my name. Christine Wilson. Okay, Chris. And my best ID is FTC, which is Federal Trade Yeah, I know. Okay. F T C. Yes. Eight nine seven four. Seven four. Okay. Two two. Oh, two two. Okay. Well, yeah, that's how this whole thing got started. Did you give your uh, Amazon account information to anyone else? I let Poke Salad Annie use it once. I'm and sorry? How many people are using? I let Poke Salad Annie, a friend of mine, use it because she hasn't been the same since the Gatorade or Granny. And so I said, go ahead, you can use it. And she paid it, so I was all right with it then. No, absolutely not, Chris. That means someone has been doing this, and also someone who has been using your Amazon account information, they must also have your bank account information as well. I don't know. Because if it is a pre-authorized order, which means that once the order will be delivered to the location, the amount will be directly deducted from your bank account. Well, just can't. 
cancel the order. I don't understand why we can't just cancel this order. That is what you talk with the, like you spoke with the cancellation department of the Amazon to cancel right, the order, did, but yeah. it's not. But they won't cancel right? it. They won't cancel it. Yeah, they are not able to cancel, and apart from that, you talk with the customer service of your bank. They also, they cannot cancel the transaction, right? Yeah. I don't know what the reason is. Wait a minute, hang on just a second. Get that duck outside. Put the duck outside. All right, go ahead. The reason is that, sir, someone has been doing illegal activities with your name, with your information. Okay, well, make them stop. As we see, as we see over here, that with your name, with your social, there are other e-bank accounts which have been opened with your name. Those aren't, I only got one, I deal with Titty Bank. That's the only bank I deal with. Yeah, there are other eight bank accounts. And from those accounts, thousands and thousands of dollars has been wired overseas. Overseas? To who? Yeah, do you know anyone overseas? Yeah, my cousin Stash lives in Krakow, Poland. He works okay, in a, have you ever he works in a, he, he works in a parody factory. Overseas? Yeah, he works in a pierogi factory. Have you done any wire transaction? I've sent him, I, I've sent Stashu money before. He needed a couple bucks here and there. Because he don't make that much. He don't amount. make that much at the uh, the factory there doing the uh, pierogi. Poland, right? The what? Like you wire money to Poland, like a small amount, right? Yeah, yeah, my cousin Stash. Okay, so it means that someone has got the information. This is a very serious issue. Very serious. Like they got your information, they got your bank account information, your personal information, your bank, uh, like your social security information, maybe they got your driver's license information. That is how they are able to. Oh open my god. Bank account with your name, oh. and the wire transaction. Oh no. And that is also thousands and thousands of dollars. That is thousands. the reason a case has been filed on your name for money laundering. Money laundering? How do we. An arrest warrant on your name. How do we get from Amazon to an arrest warrant on my name? How do we get this because far? How do we get this far, it, Chris? That is what I am telling you. We Chris. did a complete check on oh, your name, on Chris. your social security number. Your social has been found for illegal activities. That is the reason your social security number will be suspended. All these illegal activities which have been oh, done no. with your name, with your information. I, so that is the reason you are the prince of I can't go to jail. I'm not going back to jail. I'm not going back to jail. I tell you that right now. Okay, so you have been to jail? Yeah, yeah. Before? Folsom, Folsom, yeah. For what reason? I don't want to talk about it. Shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. I don't want to talk about it. So if you want to clear your name, if you want to get the arrest warrant cancelled, then you have to cooperate with us. You have to show your good faith to the government that you are completely innocent, that you are not hiding anything from I'm the not government, hiding that you are not the one involved in any of the money laundering no, activities. No, 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 I don't do none of that shit anymore, no. So first of all, the first step which you need to take in order to clear your name and get the arrest warrant cancelled is that you need to save and secure your bank account and the money which you have in your account with the government for the next 24 hours. Okay, you want me to call the bank? No, I would uh, talk to the bank. They couldn't the do bank. anything. The bank couldn't do anything. Yeah, I don't can know. Can I talk? Can I talk? Can yeah, I you provide can talk. the information so that you will <laughs> understand exactly what you need to do? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> oh, God. Go ahead. Uh, well, Go ahead. So what you need to do? What do I need to do? You tell have me. to go tell to the bank. You have to you go have to the to bank. To your bank, the TD Bank. TD Bank. Have okay. Have to take out the money from your account in cash. Okay. And once you take out the cash, you are not supposed to keep the cash with you, like well, in cash in your house for this 24 hours. What am I supposed to, to do with it? Bury it in the backyard? What am I supposed to do with it? With the cash. That is what I am telling you. You told me Once I you couldn't get keep the cash. The cash. From the bank, you need to 
convert the money, the load the money or put the money into an electronic prepaid card or electronic bonds which has been provided to you by the government. This electronic I don't have no electronic thing from the government. It. You are going to get I it don't from the certified store I, nearby you. I don't have that. Uh, you don't have it, okay. I do understand that's what I will explain you exactly what you need to do and where you need to go to get those electronic cards. These cards, you are going to get it from some certified store nearby you. Certified so, store? Once you... Are you talking about sending me back really? to Folsom? I'm not going back to Folsom. To no way. No and way. How are we Heard going the train to resolve coming. this issue? How will Rolling you understand around the back. exactly what you need to do? If I remember I was there and listen. I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. And I was stuck in Folsom prison. I'm not going back. Oh, right. right now you have to go to the bank to take out the money. Once you're done from the bank, I'm going to provide you the address of the store where you need to go to get those cards so that you can load the money or put the money on those cards and then keep the cards with you for the next 24 hours where they say. Then what do I do with them? Then what do I do with them? With that, then what do I do with them? With that, what, that's what I am telling you. Don't yell at me, please. Listen to me. Don't. So you are interrupting me well, again I, and I, again. I'm not going to I'm, 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 I'm not going to back to Folsom. I'm, 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 I'm not going back to Folsom. So, once you are done with that, once you load the money into an electronic card, yeah, I'm going okay. to do the registration onto your name okay. with those cards so that I can attach with your documentation. Okay. Submit to the courthouse and submit to the treasury department so that they can cross-verify in order to cross legalize verify. your funds. With who? Once your, once your funds Why? will be legalized at that time, we can cancel the arrest warrant, drop cancel the it. charges from your name. Yeah, cancel the arrest warrant. And only then, cancel and the only then we are going to fix an appointment for you for tomorrow, tomorrow. according to your convenient time. Tomorrow? To I won't be around time. tomorrow. Yes, but first of all, we I need won't to be around. I'm not going to be here tomorrow. This issue and clear your name. I'm not going to be here tomorrow. Can I You're not going to do what? I'm not going to be here so tomorrow. I'm not going to be here tomorrow. Where are you going tomorrow? Folks say that Annie and I are going to the casino. We're going to play a little four-card poker. But, sir, according to your convenient time, any time that you will be at your home at that time, we are going to fix an appointment so well, that the officer from the Federal Trade it, Commission will come down to your doorstep, will you provide it, you the documentation, and also that the officer okay, will be scanning you, well, well, the barcode you, you, of you, you, the electronic card, then you, you're going you, to get that money okay, well, and the cashier check. Do you think he could come to the doorstep of the casino? Because I already got reservations. Casino? Yeah, the casino. That's where I'm going to be tomorrow. It should be in a quiet place, right? So that you, the officer can explain you. And he has to well, I'll be at the scan four the card barcode of those cards. He will I'll, scan the barcode I'll, I'll either, of the electronic cards so that he can go wipe yeah, the either, yeah, yeah, I'll, whatever amount which you are going to safeguard with yeah. the government. I'll either be at the four-card poker table or the pie-gout table. If it's possible, then we can fix an appointment today evening if we are going to resolve this issue as soon as possible. Oh, yeah, you, can, to yeah, I gotta, yeah, you can come up okay. to the room. I'm not sure what room I got. You're okay, going to have to check with the front desk. What you need desk. to do right now... Okay, go need, ahead. What you need to do right now right is now. that you have to stay connected with me. You okay. have to keep this line open. Okay. You are not supposed to disconnect no, the phone. No, I won't. Okay. Because I need to, I need to get this step by step, step so you won't make any mistakes. Slowly I turn. Step by step. Okay. Yeah, step by step. And also, okay. we have to record each and every conversation between conversation. you and me. Okay. Go we ahead. need to submit this recording yeah. inside okay. the courthouse. All right. If you are cooperating with us, definitely we will be having enough evidence to prove you innocent inside the courthouse. Oh, I am innocent. You are innocent, and we need a strong evidence to prove that inside the courthouse that you are innocent. You gotta, it's so that backwards. we can cancel the arrest warrant. And that's sir, backwards. May I know how old that's, are you right ma'am, now? Ma'am, that's backwards. How old are you? 72. Almost. And I'm 72. 71. I'm 71. I'll be 72. March 16th is my birthday. Okay. Okay. So are we talking in your cell phone right now? Yes. What is the best way percentage of your cell phone? Is it fully charged? 
Oh, it's, it's, char it's, 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 it's charged full. It's full. It's full. It's full. It's full. Can't get no fuller. No, sir. Let yeah, me tell okay. you that uh, this is a very confidential information. He doesn't know who is. He doesn't know who is the culprit who has been using your information, okay? So, until and unless we cancel the arrest warrant, you're not supposed to discuss or disclose about this case with anyone. Uh -uh. Like, not to your friends, not to your family members or neighbors, colleagues, or even the bank people. Uh -uh. He doesn't know who is the culprit. It can be anyone close to you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. I got to tell my cousin not to say anything. No, it's not Eddie, wait a minute, Eddie, 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 don't talk about me. Eddie, 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 Eddie,